Hello everybody, this is ZigZagZog coming to you from somewhere in this world. And uh, we got Terror from the Void back and I have made some adjustments to hopefully get rid of some stuttering that we had. Uh, basically, I've, I'm trying, going back to our old recording software that I was using, Shadowplay, as opposed to OBS, since it doesn't seem to want to play nicely with this particular game, at least. And uh, we're going to give it a go with the old recording software and hopefully any sound issues I used to have with that one are removed and updated since I've last used it because it's been a while and we're gonna have a clean recording here cross your fingers but at least in my test uh, the stuttering is a non-issue anymore so this seems better for that issue let's just hope it doesn't bring any of its own problems to the situation all right Tonight level mission as a recap. We have uh, the Pandoran enemy and on the map, uh, the Geoscape map, it does say uh, our one of our jobs is to destroy Pandoran Citadel. So I don't know if me that means this attack potentially could be from such a Citadel uh, with such a big difference in defending strength versus attacking strength. Uh, you know, you never know. Uh, I'm just hoping that it's only a lair at this point with just the Sirens, Chirons, and upgraded Tritons and Arthrons. But, you know, I, I guess I should be careful what I wish for. Maybe maybe I'm going to be wishing it was a Scylla after all. Uh, let's pick out the team we're going to take out. We're going to take Patchwork. I decided already that I'm going to use that, which means it kind of lowers how many of you folks. A few of you will be sitting on the sidelines, and I do apologize in advance. For that i am going to bring both my snipers i decided spider drones will be a good thing uh, i do like the idea of both my heavies on this one being able to launch grenades and or rockets and that pretty much brings me down to one left and uh, at a time ahead of time looking at the teams i might be able to take out i decided to give this dude a break he's got a shield uh, he's got shotgun for armor when armor is removed he's got an accurate assault rifle and Plenty of grenades, and I think that's the way we're going to play it. So this is the team we're taking out. We just got to make sure they are equipped. So uh, I know Patchwork's okay. He's got some backup med kits and grenades on board. And Shane Marine Grant Vanson, let's see what we can do with you. And you have 10. You know, this is what I'm thinking we're going to do with you. Uh, I want to pick up Privilege now. Speed, perception, I want those things, especially for a nighttime mission. It will reduce our carry weight, but looking at what you're carrying right now, if I do this, this, and this, which are, well, the, the med kits can be considered vital, but that's 25% reduction in what we are carrying, which should hopefully cover that, and we should hopefully have enough ammo for you and a backup med kit just in case you get exposed. So let's pick up this perk. And good. My math worked. <laughs> 15 is 25% <laughs> less than 20. <laughs> Woohoo! I could do some math. Okay, so we're good here. And let's get to Citizen Etermis. Uh, we really don't need to lighten your load. Although, you know, grenades always seem a little weird fit for a sniper. But I figured, well, you can carry it. And you know, we only need so many med kits and backup ammo. These guys carry 15 shots 22 shots you know we, we got enough shots and ammo on you i think for this mission i'm not going to pick up gunslinger yeah I, I i can i can go with stats on you therefore so what i'm going to do is we'll dip a tiny bit into the pool and i'm trying to build my snipers well i'll tell you what we're going to try to go excess in a little speed too once i get it get you up to the base 20 that i like to at least have as a minimum uh, for a sniper and then we'll start seeing if we can work on speed and getting both of my snipers uh, a little Improved on the speedy side so we can get better positions more frequently. That's my hope And Jonathan we definitely uh, I think this is not the right fit for you as far as weaponry goes and I think instead we can pick up is it better to give you, you know, nine of these spider drones should be okay, especially since you're shooting them out one at a time. That's a fair amount of turns. I'm just going to give you a, a backup emergency grenade in case you get exposed and get into a tight spot here. As far as what I want to give you, I guess we're going to do the magic level 20 in health with you also. Not that we need the carry weight. Tristan. 
you're over encumbered and that's the way you're gonna stay I think I value uh, I, yeah we'll, we'll just boom blast as best we can on this one we do have a little penalty to our willpower so we're gonna be hmm, am I gonna end up needing that many grenades <laughs> will I will I really really <laughs> need that many grenades uh, I'm not sure because uh, this will give me that's eight grenade shots and I'm only going to be able to boom blast at most a couple times which brings it down to one two three four half which leaves me four more shots so you know what I'm going to do I'm going to do that we're still over encumbered uh, but we should be able to that the rockets should be balanced out with what we'll have available in grenades. The weakness here is not having backup ammo for your machine gun or and or an upgraded machine gun. Oh well, can't have everything. Blimpy, unfortunately, I decided the the two turrets we're gonna hold you back. Although your healing arms sure seem to make sense. Uh, then this dude's going out with his shotgun. And we can switch everything around now. So ready for action makes you much more useful. Uh, and I'm happy about that. We'll keep it just like this for now. And we don't really have any SP to spend for you. Uh, Floki, you're not going. Sectoid, you are. I think I'm going to keep you over encumbered with the rockets. In fact, I'm going to put quick reloads on rockets right there. You do have backup ammo. So at least you can afford to shoot your big gun if we need it and then you have one two three four five rockets five count them five rockets so a little slight over encumbrance is, is fine i think because as we start shooting these rockets you'll be okay well the other thing now i'm gonna save up for boom blast to be quite honest i could give you more strength well you know what i'm gonna need the extra strength for boom blast anyway so you can carry a grenade launcher once we manage to get one built. So uh, let's start building up your strength so we can get you a grenade launcher to make it worthwhile to pick up Boom Blast. Which is why I haven't picked it up yet for you. There we go. And I think that's it, Tom. Yeah, Tom didn't... You're not going out this time. Uh, you may thank me or you may, you, you may curse at me for not taking you out. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on how difficult this mission ends up being. Well, as a reminder, all items on this battlefield will be automatically recovered. Of course, let's say after mission success. So let's shoot for that. We'll see you down there. Alrighty, we got hefty, hefty mist and we are not aware of anything. Yeah, these are very far away. They're tempting. They're always tempting sniper perches. Okay, we got one right near us too. Uh, they're very tempting sniper purchases or per per you know purchase not I, I don't need to purchase one uh, but you know it it works the other way if they happen to have a sniper of their own down on the ground so there's that too so we don't know anything that's out there right now I have to be very careful of uh, Jonathan because of all although fortunately we have a little bit of a path up this you know, we just don't have a lot <laughs> let's face it and it's the spread out structures that we have to try and protect which is never easy so let's at least start we'll, we'll do the uh, spider drone start trying to get some eyes out there in this mist and we did see something so that, that, that has helped us already. And I think uh, something else on the other flank, if I can, well, maybe, maybe, maybe we cannot quite get something on the other flank, or do I try to clear out this building and then move forward on this side so we have this flank kind of addressed? I think that's what we gotta do. We'll use spider, drone, spider drones to cover the flanks. I'm afraid to get uh, someone up too high right now because there's probably snipers out there. Um, so how do I want to do this? Uh, maybe, maybe what we do is patchwork. We have you move forward. Let's see if our snipers have vision on this thing. Uh, at the moment, it says no, unless I move here. So I will, whoops. It will not be on Overwatch. Yeah, we're out of the mist here, it looks like. It looks like we're safe uh, 
from losing, I, I would say that's a, that's a missed clear hex, if you want my opinion. And we're going to shoot at this. It is only a basic Myrmidon. That alone has me wish it has me thinking that this will not have a Scylla out there. And where would a Scylla be standing right now anyway, right? <laughs> so we have to be uh, very hyper aware and alert for sirens. But let's see if we can work on this thing first. And no, I don't think Citizen Eternities wants to be evacuated yet. All right, we have a good chance of zooming in and it's okay. So I am highlighting a torso there. It's just hard to see in the mist, of course. So um, let's go for the torso. Nice. And okay, we hit a wing. So he can still destroy our spider drone. So the question becomes, do I want to try to get another sniper shot on this thing? Or I don't, I don't think I can with you. So this is what I'm thinking. We're, we're going to take a risk up here, my man. We're going to take a risk up here. You're going to be standing quite lonesome. In fact, I'll keep you right by the ladder in case you get shot at and we, we decide we need to run you right back down. At least you don't have to worry about eroding your... This is the one instant that it would have been nice and I wasted some will, doggone it. One instance it would have been nice and we do not see a thing because of the nighttime darkness. Okay. All right. Well, another thing we could look at doing is I definitely could probably get some support over here from this dude. We could do a little quick game while we still have the will. We're not in the mist. And we can at least eliminate the initial threat that we are seeing right here. And by eliminate it, I mean being able to shoot out the torso at this range, even with quick aim, we should be able to accomplish that. Okay, the, yeah, okay, let's kill it. Oh, man, and we did hit the torso really well. Citizen Eternities, you did it. You just clipped a little bit of the wing at the same time, which uh, prevented the full force of your shot taking out the torso. So, yeah, this is easy. All right, thank you, this dude. Uh, we can run you somewhere if there's anywhere that makes sense. But I am going to try and hang on to your will right now. So I guess we'll just move you there. And then a sectoid. We got our two heavies ready to motor. And did we shoot I out? Spent. Yeah, you, Jonathan, you have nothing left to do. And then our two heavies, i got to figure out the best way to utilize them. We don't know where anything else is yet. So maybe what I do is I kind of get you guys, since I've already got a target, uh, you know, a target for snipers out there already, let's, let's push you guys forward. And we see something. Ah! We see, well, we don't know what this blip is. It could be another Pandoran for all we know. So you're probably, I'm probably going to keep that weapon on you and hunker you. Or, well, Sectoid, yeah, you have a quick solution that we could try doing here. And we do still have patchwork as an option. So if we get lucky, we take down his arms. If we get lucky, we destroy this cover and we get a better sense if this is friend or foe down below. Because we sure don't know right now. And it took away cover and arms and we still don't know who this is. And at least if it's friend, we didn't hurt him. <clears throat> Excuse me. However, this guy is still a threat. That's why we brought Patchwork. <laughs> to help attempt to eliminate that threat. Now, Tristan, I think you will not be able to jump so far. Well, guess what? You'll be able to see what this is, but is this how I want to, to see? Um, that would not probably... I don't know if that's going to be close enough to give you vision through all the junk. Just in case it's not a friend... 
Hmm. And you wouldn't be able to shoot anything. Your rocket would be too close to be any good. Uh, what I'm leaning... I, I kind of feel like we need to know who this guy is. Is this friend or is this foe? Doing it. Enemy spotted. Yeah. Heavies take these kinds of risks, now don't they? And he looks touched by the void. And he is. He's a fire quencher. And he's got a grenade launcher and a very hurtful gun. So, now, with that in mind, I'm going to back you off. We're going to keep your heavy gun in case uh, this guy chooses to shoot at you. He looks weak enough to kill. We're going to move Patchwork forward as far as we feel we can get him so his rocket will be as accurate as possible, that good old Vishnu. And we're going to hope that I have not overextended myself. Tristan and Sectoid are going to hope I have not overextended myself. And... Oh, I feel like I really need to kill this guy. Just don't... Just, 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 just... Yeah, just don't. <laughs> just don't miss. I think there's a good chance to injure this guy somehow oh baby oh he was able to see you for return fire through all that i guess there's not as much cover there as as we expected and now this has got us in a predicament oh man oh man so uh let's get patchwork pushed forward as a potential target And now, let's all cross our fingers. Well, that was a help. It got rid of his gun. He can still grenade. And he is touched by the void and sending out the marked effect. Oh, his pistol missed. Oh, it missed twice. So he healed. He's a threat. We're learning where more enemies are located. And that priest is paying the price. The good news is those guys decided to clump up. And none of the attacks were directed exactly or precisely at us. Okay, they're going for the machinery now. And so far, they're still getting the brunt of the, the attacks. Thank you, Anu. Uh-oh, here's our turn. This is now our turn. And he hit the combat shield. Woo! Having it on our back has just paid off. Oh, man, there's a lot of... Uh, a lot of danger out there right now. A lot of danger. Uh, it feels like we need to get... Yeah, we need to get our spider drones positioned. And let's go see if we find any new surprises off on the side. Alright. Now, it would seem to me... The, we, we got ourselves some prime targets over here. This guy is holding fort there. The biggest immediate threat to us is right here. Tristan is trembling. He needs to get healed. Boy, does he. Now, what we can do is maybe I can jump you back to somebody who does have a med kit after I shoot a rocket. No, I, I no, because uh, jet jumping takes three actions. I could shoot a rocket and jump. And then hopefully jump you next to somebody who has a med kit. Like that. Let's see if... Let's just check and see if we can jump that far. And we can't. So, I do believe... Uh, 
you know, a rocket right there doesn't make sense. So the one thing we can do is shoot a single action rocket somewhere. And I'm thinking uh, there's a nice cluster here. I can think of nothing better. Okay, you weren't exactly on target, Tristan, but you are quivering and trembling, so I guess I can't blame you too much. Let's go get you back here to somebody who can heal you. So the poison doesn't get you. Now, I, I also have a sniper up high. I wonder who he can see. We can see the other sniper, and we can see that dangerous dude. So I say, let's go for a sniper. We can't count on him shooting other people all the time. And that's, for that range, that's a pretty damn good shot. And I'm not going to do armor break just because there's not a whole lot of armor on the guy to begin with. And we took out an arm. Unfortunately, we did not take out a shooter's arm. Um, what did we take out? Oh, this guy has regeneration, so uh, that, that really doesn't matter if we took out a shooting arm. We have taken him down so that one more shot can get rid of him. Um, let's do the healing real quick so I don't forget and accidentally lose Tristan here. We'll trade it up there for the time being. And Jonathan. Will make Tristan feel a whole heck of a lot better. For now. And then uh, Tristan, I'm going to move you. you. You don't have line of sight on the sniper. You're hidden anyway. I'm just going to move you a little farther forward. So in case we get shot at here, we don't have to worry so much. Now we potentially will have a line on the sniper, but there's going to be a cover in the way. And I may have to move this dude. Uh, so I'm going to get you set up for a potential shot. I'm trying to see... Because I, I, with, with, with our guy exposed up high, I would not enjoy having this guy shoot at us. So the question becomes, let's move you this far, this dude, in case I need a, a helpful follow-up shot. On my way. And then let's get our sniper. Let's get Citizen Etermes here. Now let me try to figure angle-wise what would give us a best chance. This spot? Will that have less stuff in the way? Or this? Oh wait, I, it, this spot? Maybe here. Oh wait, I can only go this far. So I think here. Gives us our best line with the less, potentially the less amount of stuff in the way. And you said it's any termies, if you miss, you also could be a potential target for this guy. And once again, I'm not going to do the armor break because it doesn't feel like we need to. Okay, sniper dealt with. We still have a lot of other things to deal with, however. We have this horrid little poacher over here, which is a problem. Uh, we have this horrid little thing that maybe this guy will bash. Yeah, maybe he'll axify him, or who knows. More, a lot of times they just move too far away and miss all their pistol shots, but we'll, we'll see. I have to worry about this. And I could probably very easily deal with that by jumping down and just blasting it close range. And if I and, and if I came in here to do it, 
still be out of easy range. He'd have to move a lot and therefore wouldn't get as many shots. So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about bringing you down here, Sectoid, just to blast with your main gun into this thing uh, to take him out. The question is, are, are you going to be in a splash zone? So is that as wise or... Well, we stall just a little bit longer. What I'm going to do is uh, you'll still be able, Shane Marine Grum Vanson, to be on Overwatch. So I will probably see how far your Overwatch can extend first. And it's not all that far. Not all that far. So based on what I see right now, I'm just going to move you farther forward. Now, if he wants to shoot that pistol at you at that range, have at it. And then uh, we've got patchwork. Wouldn't it be nice to know that we could like run over this thing? You know, we have the vehicle update, but I, I and I know there's certain conditions with certain modules we can run over these things. But I also know we didn't we got this guy bleeding, but we have the cluster here that I, I feel like I, I just have to I have to do this. I have to do this. And we can see some things. Oh baby. He's big and buff and strong. Uh, shield bearer champion, of course. We got some folks bleeding, but sure not him. But at least we got some shredding going. Uh, I may just uh, have to back you off a little bit, patchwork. Oh, wait. The vehicle update? This is only two actions. Oh, now I like this vehicle update. Is it, it has improved patchwork. I'm going to keep you right where you are, my man. And you're going to come here and try this again. Strip that armor. Strip, strip that armor. Or just spend it all right there. Oh, baby, that guy's buffy strong. Uh, so don't, uh, don't be surprised if a claw comes your way. And did I get this other guy moved? Yes, I did. Um... So now it's the I, I'm pretty much down to my big decision. I have to decide the the less big decision where the heck to move this dude, and the big decision is on Sectoid. And this is where I can hear him yelling at the monitor. <laughs> Don't do it! Don't do it! You'll kill him, and I'll get acid all over me. <laughs> oh, our our poison. Well, the first spot of poison. I don't think it bites through your armor that much. So if it was acid, I I would worry about the reduction in your armor, but I think you'll be heavily protected by your armor. So I am jumping down here for the big, uh, big blast right here. That's what I'm, that's the game I'm going to play and what I'm going to hope. And uh, here we go. Okay, you got a little poison on you. Uh, so I, I misjudged on how much poison would get through and onto you. Well, that's always the risks we take, eh? Always the risks we take. And I think this dude... We're going to have to worry about this thing. Hopefully this thing takes care of him before flying anywhere else. Because I'm really, it's I'm, an Overwatch really isn't going to help as much now, is it? Maybe I just just put an Overwatch over here in case the guy flies at us and we try to hit him. Patchwork, you're done. Tristan, you're done. Shane, everybody's done. Yeah, this is our final double check, making sure there's nothing else we missed. Okay. Oh, that thing died. One of those things died. This thing ran away, hopefully panicked. So that means 
he will focus there. And he does. And boy, he's got him paralyzed. I would like him to... Ooh. Miss us. I, yeah, I, I was going to say, yeah, I would like him to miss us. And machinery is still exploding and dying, if that's what machinery does. And he's coming for us. Okay. And that means you're hanging in there, sectoid. The poison is not going to... Poison alone will not kill you. Now, I've got to see what my snipers have visible. These two died. I think that's what caused this Myrmidon to move away, potentially because it panicked. Um, and this paralyzed guy has become a target for them a little bit. Unfortunately, i got to be careful I don't hurt them. Get them in the blast radius, so this, technically my spider drone does not seem like a great option here. Uh, this spider drone has pretty much proven that our flanks are pretty clear. Let's move him up this way. And uh, this is the biggest immediate threat. The, the, the two guys back here, this one died, and the two guys back here are seem to be machine oriented, machinery oriented. So uh, it would it would appear. I need to work on my targets back here. So let's see. Who do y'all see? Citizen Etermes and Shane Marine Grump Vanton. Who do you see? Potentially that guy. Let's see. We'll probably do armor break depending on what we how good our shot can be. Yeah, I'm thinking uh Well, we could take off the pincer. If this guy doesn't keep rotating it behind his back. We have a good chance of taking out the pincer. Oh! And we hit him. And I didn't do armor break because I thought we had a good chance of hitting the pincer. I was wrong. Now, how close can I get without our blast radius? Well, I, I'll be able to adjust. Let's check our blast radius. And that does not pick up the Berserker. And potentially gets us close enough for, for, a, for a claw. Let's cross our fingers. And we got it. We got what we wanted. So uh, this guy has not, and his head's gone anyway. I said this, this level has not evolved into spitterhead range, I don't think. So he's not the prime. So we've, we've dealt with the champion. Now we got this guy. And I'm thinking, where can we move you to start getting a, a potential shot on him? And I'm thinking I wanna, I wanna play a long range game with you, this dude, because you have a more accurate weapon than him at range. I, I, I Well, you know, the pistol, yours still beats him out. So let's look at this shot. And he's kind of behind that pole. That's the only problem. I'm still going to take it. And that's fine. He can disappear. We weren't going to kill him. Uh, I'm, I'm putting down my shield in defense. Let him paralyze us now. And because this guy's neutered, I'm going to keep you behind this cover back here. Uh, sectoid. And we're gonna we're gonna pull out one of our handy dandy med kits. And we're gonna heal you up. Okay, you're feeling a heck of a lot better without that poison eating away at you. I'm gonna pull you back to cover. And we'll come out to fight another time. This dude is done. Patchwork is free to do what he needs to do. And we got this guy parked away back here. He's a Triton. 
and I cannot recall with this one when I when we saw brief glimpses of these guys, I I sensed that he's an Arthron. Uh, but now that I can shoot my Vish, Vishnu that much quicker, it may, it, that always used to be so much ammo when you're shooting one at a time, but uh, frick it, I can shoot two at a time now. So in other words, I'm already liking this vehicle update, and I think we did more damage to what was around, you know, the cover than anything else. So let's see if we can hit hit him this time. Maybe have a chance to save some machinery. And I'm not noticing any bleeding signs, so he could be another big old tough buff shield bearer, for all I know. And if he is another tough buff shield bearer, I think we gotta send out some of our own tough buff spider drones. And we got a free reload. Watch this. There we go. They're ready to pounce down now. Uh, Tristan, what we can then afford to do with you, because we only have the paralyzing guy to fear, I would like to jump you forward again. Except we'll keep you... Yeah, I'm fine at this distance, having the, the paralyzing pistol trying to take a shot at you. I don't think he's going to be super accurate. And it allows me... It allows me to do this and try to shred whatever that tough buff guy is that's not bleeding yet. And I see no bleeding symbols coming from that blip. So it's got to be a shield bearer. That is my best guess. Yeah, the thing is we don't have much else to uh, move or see with. So I think I think I start positioning both my snipers to get up high. At this point, uh, I was thinking about getting you on a roof, but that gets you too close to enemies that could hurt you. So we're going to play the distance game with you. Patchwork's done, and I think our, our whole turn is about done. Oh, except I could do a random overwatch just in case, eh? I don't think anything's going to run into it, but it's there. He runs away. I'll say something did paralysis over here against the machinery. So that might be... There's the Myrmidon here. I wonder what happened to this. This is para That's where our paralysis guy went. So uh, we need some eyes. Can we get eyes on these guys? Yeah, we can. This guy's hurting. I'm not sure why he didn't move, but I won't complain. I'm prepared. And I have a sniper that can't quite see our targets. And I get line of sights, one space, oh wait, 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 wait. Okay, this is as far as I can go and shoot. Uh, this is when I start getting lines of sight. So it'll be pistol or nothing. Well, let's see if his explosive radius, it would only hit the berserker. So the spider drone, you know, Thanks for your help. We appreciate it. We're going to do something. We're going to try other things on this guy. And I'm wondering, I'm only seeing one blip now. Whatever happened to this blip? I don't know. All set. I'm feeling like this dude. This guy's weak enough. How far? Let's pick up your shield. What kind of will? You got one quick aim within you. 
Yeah, I can't quite get you in line of sight of the Myrmidon. Oh, wait. Let's find out if I can see it now. No, because it's, it's too full of cover. I can get you in sight so we can take another shot at the paralyzing guy. Uh, it will be a quick aim shot, gets you in range of this thing. So maybe what I got to do is this with our known targets. I got a, got a free reload. Let's send a grenade over here on the Myrmidon. That's what I'm thinking. We've taken away a wing and he's bleeding. Now I wonder, did we take away enough cover so you can get a line of sight? That's what I want to find out. No, I still don't get an angle. Still don't get an angle on the Myrmidon. So that means I'm sending a rocket for a lowly Myrmidon. Here goes nothing. Now he's harmless. Okay. Let's choose your other gun so you can return fire if you get shot at and you're done. Now this dude can focus potentially. Let's come here and see what the shot looks like. We're gonna give it a go. Okay, we took out an arm. Now he can't, that's a shooting arm, although he only he shoots a pistol, so that's, that's still not a solution. Uh, what we're going to do is, uh, we, we have a potential solution with Sectoid, however. Because he can step right here and shoot a rocket over there. Heading out. And we probably won't be able to see if it takes out his torso. And let's see, let, let's run a little deep. Stay away from the machinery if, machinery if we can help it. And we took out everything, but, but he has no arms and therefore can't shoot his freaking pistol and he's going to bleed out. So we did a job accomplished. Now, I think we can just straight move you forward. The two nearest things are no longer a threat. Uh, we will do the free reload. Reloading. And put your gun in hand. Now we have a spider, a spider drone to move forward. Because the only enemies we know of, there's either one back here or two, and we don't have a blip on the second one. So we're going to have to keep our eyes open there. And do you have any movement left? No. Not unless I want to take you out of cover. Sectoid, you're a heavy, you're out of cover. Oh well. And unfortunately, this guy is hiding right behind the machinery. So I'm thinking, uh, let's push forward, see what we see. We gain no sight, and we gain no vision on any new enemies. And the reason I'm wondering if we can do that is I still have a sniper available. If we can gain sight on somebody. So I'm actually going to... Go over in this angle with patchwork. Okay, so that is... Do I see any dead bodies around here of wherever that other thing is that may have died? And I do not. So let's bring patchwork. He's probably going to knock down this cover. He shouldn't knock down this cover and be protected against that guy. So let's bring... Patchwork into some safety here. Yeah, because this guy we don't have to worry about. And uh, we gain sight on somebody. And I don't think he... 
is going to be snipeable because he's behind the machinery. And so I'm just going to bring us to the edge in case he moves and makes himself hittable coming up. And we'll do an overwatch just in case he decides to uh, forget about the machinery. Oh, the nighttime overwatch is so little. Uh, citizen, uh, we're getting you up top too in case the shot becomes available. There's no other angle I can get to. And uh, what do I want to do with you, Jonathan? Is there a path to get through here somewhere that doesn't go through mist and reveal you? Well, at this point, I say suck it. <laughs> There's no enemies nearby that can hurt you. Let's just get you moving forward as best we can. Hmm. and still have a semblance of cover against this guy. You're going to get exposed, but it moves you forward. Maybe we can use your crossbow coming up at some point. And we have one more spider drone to push. That's the shield bearer that, for whatever reason, I guess there's a fence here. They can't leave the map over here. Or that one did. I don't know why he didn't. There's where the other one went. And it is some sort. It is a... Uh, or, or it's somebody new. Poor patchwork. We moved you into cover so he couldn't shoot twice at you. So that is that is a good thing. Uh, I think we, we work on this guy. There's no machinery that will be harmed in the process. And he, you, you are now marked for death. So this is a marked for death Umbra. I say, finish him off. And he looks like he died. The blip did the death jerk. And if this guy wants to shoot, yeah, he has to come out into the open. And in the meantime, I'm gonna explode here in the mist if I can reach him, yeah. And make him visible. I don't know if my other spider drone can reach. Doesn't look like it. And we're going to hope my snipers have an angle on this guy now. We're going to keep you hidden there, spider drone, just in case. And let's take a look up high. Shane, you can... You could. I spy a Triton. Finger on the trigger. Yeah, we might as well do armor break in case we get a follow-up <laughs> shot from somebody. Ready to fire. And that's good. He's bleeding big time. He can't. Well, we got rid of his regeneration torso. He's not dead yet. Do you have enough of an angle to get a shot? We shouldn't have to do armor break now. With only five armor, it's really not worth it. And now I think he's going to bleed out. Oh, yeah. And now I'm not aware of any more enemies. So now it's probably safe. Let's get this guy on our side. Okay, that's not considered in the circle, or is it because he's paralyzed? <laughs> One of the two. Let's just go double check that this is the shield bearer we know and love. Okay, so you can't see around the big juggy thing. Oh, it looks like you should see under the spindly legs, but oh well. Um, who do we got left? Jonathan? Ready. I'm going to bring you out here. Out of the mist so we can start working on hiding you again. And I don't think... I'll tell you what. Just in case. We'll have your friend put that back in your hands. 
<laughs> and we'll give you that grenade just in case you have a chance to use some of these. And sectoid. Let's go jump and make sure we don't become aware. Well, let's pick up some will for everybody. Here goes. Yeah, and it is a, a, a panicked guy. That's why he didn't leave the map is because he panicked. He bleeds in two turns. He bleeds out. So we're going to need somebody to finish this guy. So this dude, uh, you'll be the finisher over here so we can end this mission. Everybody else stay put. Everybody else. Oh, well, Tristan, we can get you jumping over here too. Let's see that. I'm not going to waste a rocket and spend a rocket. We don't need overwatches, I don't think. And we're going to put you in cover here so maybe you can regain hidden status. Okay, like I said, he's going to bleed out. Let's just end our turn and that should be the end of the mission. I figured that meant no, that, that way we don't spend any ammo that we have to replace and save a little in the way of materials. So Citizen Etermes gets the big promotion. And there we go. They have uh, dropped weapons. So the, the priest that sacrificed himself for us, uh, we get a Redeemer magazine. Otherwise, this got dropped probably by that one uh, Triton. And at least we picked up some stuff. And we get the nice payoff. Let's see how much we spend compared to 525 and 62. Tiamat, Disciples of Anu. So we've uh, upped our, our levels here. They're going to offer us a mission now where we have to... I don't think the first mission plays too much with diplomacy. So we'll see. I, I just don't want to risk a Sinedrian. And we've revealed the lair. So it was indeed a lair that had made the attack. Blessed are those who seek transformation. But to seek alone is not enough. Neither is to speak. For these were the ways of the false gods of old, who drowned in the flood that Anu commanded. To be initiated further into the sacred teachings of the Exalted, you must show that you will act on behalf of humanity. Not merely the humanity that was, but the humanity that will be. All right, so let's see, second initiation. There are some who still cling to the sins of the old world. Even now they are consumed by greed, thinking that if they hoard enough, they will survive the coming changes. These brigands have attacked many of our havens and those of others also. Let the judgment of the dead God fall upon them. Well, what I think this first mission, we don't have to worry about a lot of diplomacy. Watch me be wrong because, you know, I don't know Terror from the Void like the back of my hand. So uh, I could be wrong. I could just put him off saying, well, think about it. Ah! Let the pain they have visited upon others be returned unto them tenfold. So I'm, I'm making my, my, my situation with Sinedrian just uh, more difficult than it needed to be. I should have just said, we'll come back. Uh, Anu is not what I'm trying to win with, but oh well. So 129.48, we used up most of the uh, tech that we gained. I think we come out 20 ahead and uh, yeah, it, we, we've improved. And the, oh my Lord, that lair is close. Oh, baby, baby. So I think what we'll do is continue to the to the nest here. Then we'll probably get these two teams. Hit. Well, I'll tell you what. I got to get the Land and Avery back here. First of all, let's get our promotion out of the way. Citizen Attorneys uh, will not make you wait. I do not believe that melee weapon proficiency is what I want to pick up for you right now. And... 
gunslinger at the moment. We just haven't had you in, a, in a, any sort of appropriate position to take advantage of that yet. So therefore, I'm going to give you some speed. And if I don't give you any more willpower, we don't have to worry about delirium increasing and uh, at full stamina, you'll never get a, yeah, you'll never get a debuff to your, to your willpower that way. So let, let's play conservative with you that way. And uh, hmm, we'll just hang on to that. Let's get back to, uh, well, let's get back to the base. Uh, let's get Landon Avery unloaded and head down and see if we can pick up this flyer too. Then we'll also take the Manticore back. We got a little bit of an injury there. Sectoid, or Tristan, I was a little rough with you. Sectoid, was we were able to heal you in mission, so you're okay there. And we'll come back and do this lair. The nest is next up over here, so let's get moving. All right, Tristan. First thing I'm going to do with you, or, or excuse me, uh, Landon Avery, uh, we're going to take away the far M so it doesn't get damaged. We're going to go attack. You will have no counter evasive measures of any kind. And then we have to uh, unload Tristan. I mean, <laughs> Landon. I got Tristan on my mind because uh, he was, he came out of that mission injured. And uh, we're going to we're going to take a Landon Avery and make him a lean, mean, a fighting machine out there to go against the car. Okay, we got some more promotions. We'll come back to those in a moment. And let's get the Landon Avery down here. Let's see if we can take out a car. Then we're almost to the nest. Uh-oh. Blood dimmed tide. The remains of a new Jericho squad have been found in the wilderness. It would appear that one of the soldiers killed the others in their sleep, gutted them, and arranged their entrails in an elaborate spiral pattern. He then sat in the middle of the pattern until, as far as we can tell, he starved to death. Holy smokes! I think we're getting a new void omen. More touched by the void. Oh, lovely. As if, uh, you know, I'm trying to keep our delirium under control so we don't see too many. Now it doesn't matter. We're going to see them. So our people are seeing more oil monsters in the field. I look forward to the strict adherence of the scientific method explaining this away as our operatives going more crazy. Oh. Aww. So now we're up to four. So we definitely need to get this uh, lair done sooner rather than later. So as soon as our, our folks heal up as quickly as possible, and as soon as we finish this nest, the lair is a big one because it'll it'll at least get rid of the Pandoran evolution, which is kind of huge. Although I don't love either of these. I wish I could get rid of more mist, skip Behemoth, and get down to more Touched by the Void. And keep the ones I want. I wish I could choose which ones go away. But, uh, you know, I'm thankful the game doesn't give me such choice. I gotta deal with challenges. And I like challenges. So, as far as any other new research, Tiamat development was it. Otherwise, we had access to everything else. So restricted bionics, poison weapons, I think, is just the grenade, as I said. But I think it's unnecessary evil to get out of the way, so eventually we can gain access to the poison crossbows. That's what I'm thinking. I have a lot of stuff that still needs developing. We'll, we'll keep it this way for the time being. All right, let everybody fly. We're going to get to the, the, the nest mission next. First ship is there. Oh, they're both there. I take it back. Um, well, I'll tell you what. Since we're both here, let me just make sure both both ships are here. And yes, okay, they both are there. And we got some promotions to do over there before the mission. Let's just do that. Let's, let's close out today's episode with an air battle. Sounds appropriate to me. And see if Tristan... And I'm doing it again. 
<laughs> Let's have Landon Avery. Let's knock my head around and get that connection loose in my brain so I can say Landon instead of Tristan. All right, so we have the Ram, so he's got to get up close, and we're, we're, we're running if we cannot get that taken care of. So maybe I just need to say to hell with the weapons and go all against the hull and hope we can shoot it down before weapons really hurt us. You know, there's that. So uh, let's get going. And Pandoran weapons have extra accuracy. That's a little bit of a pain. And all three of them hit. I don't like this newfound accuracy. He's going against our hull also. He's playing the same game as us. Except those three missed. So now he's back to 50% accuracy. Can our accuracy be good? Oh, we got our first miss. But he's continuing against the hull, which is good, meaning we'll have access to both weapons until the ram gets here. And one more hit is all we need. Mission accomplished. Land at Avery. Good shooting. So we got some more. Oh, we we oh that was that was much needed. Any increase in attitude for Sinedrian. Good material rewards. And, uh, yeah, diplomacy, Anu, I don't care about per se. Let's get back to the base here. And uh, hopefully this thing is finally going to go underwater. It's taken a long way to get down to water. It looks like it's coming down here. Let's hope next time we lose the behemoth once and for all and don't have to worry about any flyers. Uh, so next time we're opening with the nest. That's what I said. We got rid of the flyer. I hope you enjoyed today's mission wasn't perfectly played. We took some harm, but we survived and came out on top. Hope you enjoyed it. This is Zigzag Zog signing off from somewhere in this world. Thanks so much for watching, and I do hope to see you next time.